Hi, this is Mobile Network Comparison, and you're about to watch a benchmark test between Cyanogen Mod 11 and Samsung's TouchWiz on the Galaxy S3. Okay, so I've got two Galaxy S3s here. There's the pebble grey one on the left and the white one on the right. And the one on the left we will show you is running Cyanogen Mod version 11, which is Android 4.4.4, the latest version. That's Android KitKat. And here on the right, the Galaxy S3 is running Samsung's built-in stock TouchWiz ROM. And they actually aren't going to update this from Android 4.3, so we're stuck on Jelly Bean here. To make everything completely fair, I've done a factory reset on both phones. So there's only the stock applications on there, and I've just installed Antutu Benchmark. And I've installed this benchmark test program from the same APK file extracted from another phone to guarantee that we're running exactly the same version. So you can see that both the left phone on CyanogenMod and the right phone on TouchWiz are both using Antutu Benchmark version 5.1. And so I'm going to start both tests identically, and you can watch how each phone compares. Given that both phones are exactly the same model with exactly the same specs, we are going to expect this benchmark test to run pretty similarly on both and it's just really an investigation to see how much of a difference the ROM or the operating system and the kernel etc can make a difference onto your phone's performance on a day-to-day -day level. Lots of people report quite significant differences in battery life and in bloat but it will be interesting to see how this actually affects the real world performance of the phone. So I'm just fast forwarding through the test right now because it does take quite a while. But just to confirm, these are both exactly the same phone model, the Samsung Galaxy S3, the i9300. Both of them are running the same quad core 1.4 gigahertz Cortex A9 processor. Both of them have the same Exynos 4412 quad core chipset. And they both have a Mali 400 MP4 GPU. In case you were wondering, these are both international UK versions of the Galaxy S3. So there's absolutely no difference at all in the hardware in each phone. So it looks like we're getting towards the end of the benchmark test now. And in fact, hang on, on the left, Cyanogen Mod phone has finished slightly ahead of the TouchWiz, Samsung TouchWiz phone. So let's have a look at the details of these benchmark scores. It's 22,674 on the left-hand Cyanogen Mod one and 22,000, sorry, and 23,676 on the right-hand side. So we've got about a thousand points more in the score which is so it's about a 20th. So we're looking at TouchWiz actually being about 5% faster than Cyanogen Mods. And if we scroll down and look at the actual individual parts of the test, you can see that while Cyanogen Mods has got better scores for 3D graphics and runtime, in fact, TouchWiz does better in multitasking and absolutely dominates in RAM speed and storage input output. So there you have it. It's a small difference, but not completely negligible. And in fact, Cyanogen Mod 11 is actually slower than stock Samsung TouchWiz. Please drop us a like and let us know if you think there is such a noticeable difference and whether Cyanogen Mod is faster than TouchWiz on your phone. Cheers.